Right, so now we will continue with our basic exploration of Surreal DB. And right away, I want to test schema full tables. Previously, we were testing schema less, meaning that there was no strict structure in the table. But now I want to set a specific structure so it cannot be changed. So I'm going to open my Postman here. So first, I'm going to create a table called score. And it's supposed to take account of all the scores from the user. So here you can see that after defining the table, I have specifically said that schema full. This is a keyword that will tell Serial DB that this is supposed to be a schema full table. I'm going to run it and it has been created. I also want to define a field inside the score table. So in this case, we are creating a field called value and it will contain a score as an integer. And I'm casting here a specific type as well. So it has created the field as well. So now we are going to try to define a record with the id called user1 and deliberately i will try to set a value as test rather than as an integer so in this case it's a string so let me see what happens huh it created but as you can see the value is set to zero rather than it giving me an error so this is a behavior that i can see here what if i try to put let's say an array Uh, okay, let's say user 2. Same thing happened here. It's defined the value as 0. Another feature I want to explore is graph edge connections between two records. So this is basically used for connecting two different records together. I would explore an example where I have users and those users can have cars. So there are two cases that I want to explore here. First, I would want to get all the cars related to a particular user. And the second case would be that I I want to get all the users for a particular car so let's get going so we will create two users in a user table first user will be Sam and let me create this and the second user would be Adam with the ID Adam and the name Adam as well pretty simple now I will create two cars as well so one will be Audi with the ID Audi and the other one would be Toyota. And now I would use a relate statement to connect user with a car. So in this case, I'm connecting Sam with the Audi. Let's run this. And I will also connect Sam with car Toyota. And I will connect Adam with Toyota as well because Adam cannot afford Audi. So just to explain this statement a little bit more, we are connecting Adam, which is a record in a user table, to a record Toyota, which is under the cars table. In between, we have a connection table. So I'll show you how it looks. Usually we don't query directly the connection table, but I will just show you how it looks. So I will type select all from owns. And as you can see, it has connections for each of the record that we connected together. So now we want to fetch all cars by a user. In a traditional SQL database, we would do joins here and there would be some sort of complicated queries. In this Surreal DB, it's pretty easy. If I make a request, you can see that it has grabbed the user Sam and it has also grabbed the connected uh, cars as well. So if I say name, so it will grab the name as well here. So you're selecting uh, an ID and the name from the user's table specifically for the record Sam and then we are using these notations here arrow notation to call on the connecting table and then from there we are grabbing the car table and specifically the name 
of car record. So here, uh, in order to grab a particular field, we are using a period symbol. And then we are naming this whole thing as a user car. It should be user cars, but okay. And if I change the ID to Adam, let's say, it would only grab me the Toyota. So see how simple this is compared to like traditional SQL DB. It can be very confusing. And now if I want to do a reverse, which is get all the users connected to a particular car. So here, as you can notice, we are using reverse arrow notations through a relationship. And if I run it here, you can see that it is grabbing indeed all the users that are connected to Audi. And if, if I put a name here as well, and we can do this as well here, for example, count, and then we can copy the whole thing here. And then we can say as user count. So see, it returns the count as well with the relationship as well. See how simple this is. This is absolutely beautiful. And if I change the Audi to Toyota, which is owned by both Adam and Sam, it should give me two users here. So you can see it has grabbed Adam and Sam here and it has also incremented the count to two. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to read syntax and also the number of lines you're writing are way less. All right, so now I want to explore the rest section of the website. Apparently, SurrealDB provides rest APIs by default. So we will test them and we'll see how that works. So first of all, I want to get all the records from my specific table. What I have to do is run this. So I will open my Postman. We have to replace SQL with key slash table. So user. Okay, so it got me all the users. Now let's go back to the documentation. What if we want to create a new record within this table? Let's see how we do that. So it says here you have to provide an ID with an object. Okay, so let's see. So I will provide it with the ID called Rick. This would be my ID. And then I have to choose JSON to send the type of the object that I want to send. So I will copy one of the object from here. And we don't want to send the ID because we are sending the ID and the URL. And another thing is that we'll have to change the method to post. So if I run this now, it gave me OK. So apparently it created. So if I bring it back to this one, let's see what happens. And yes, it has created this user here. So we put the wrong name here. So what if we want to change it? According to the website, you have to use put method and the URL can be same as the create. So I will put Rick. Okay, let's run it. Let's fetch them again to see whether it changed. And yes, for sure it did. Now, what if you want to delete it? You guessed it right. You have to provide an ID with a delete method. It, it doesn't give me the result back, but if I run it back again to fetch all the users, it should give me just two users here. So these are the common REST APIs they provide. So uh, they don't provide APIs to get the relationships with the table. For example, in the case of user, I might want to get some other details connected to this table, but I'm not able to do that. But you can always use SQL REST URL to run your own query and grab the data. Serial QL over WebSocket. So this is something which will allow real-time updates and bi-directional communication and modification of the data. Uh, apparently it's completed, but when I checked 
the documentation section the documentation has not been yet published so i will have to wait and see how to use this and how it works but this sounds very promising so there are many features as i said and honestly it will be a bit overwhelming to cover them all here but what i want to do is go a bit deeper and see other features as well and i will also wait for the documentations to drop as well so guys if you like this video first of all thank you for watching and also please subscribe because it helps me quite a lot and thank you for watching